doesn't bother him. Where we yeah. see that bony stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah. And so, you know, maybe that's something a radiographic diagnosis, but not a painful diagnosis. Okay. So, you're right. Joint supplements are going to be a big deal to this guy. And chiropractic. He could have, but I think we've got some chronic stuff going on. I mean, he's 20. And, you know, I had him on some sort of joint supplement, you know, all his working life. And it could have been masking something, not not taking care of the issue, but just making it well good enough that I could ride him and and move on. You know what I mean? So now that he's been off of all joint, and I did this on purpose. I took him off of every joint medication two weeks before I moved here, so six weeks ago. So probably all of that it's out of his system. So here we are. This is our baseline. Did she say? Good. Okay. This is interesting. Huh. I mean, when you look at how he's put together, you know, he's got this 400-pound head, you know, oh, I'm being funny, but you know what I mean, and a low-set neck, and so uh, he's really front-loaded, you know, he's really on his forehead, so he's been taking a beating, I think, besides having the navicular issue, which is maybe part of the problem, who knows, but he's been taking a beating on his front end, you know. Well, and, and these things... There are great papers done of the, the type and kind of severity of lumbar problems in racehorses. 92% mm -hmm. of them, the major things. Yeah. So again, those joints aren't moving as much. Right. That's and he's always more weight on his front end. Yeah. More weight on the front end. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, it all makes sense. I mean, if you consider, he's never been real fluid with this hind end. Mm -hmm. If you, if it's too bad you didn't know him before, because if you watch me ride him. You know, he he would be, he'd look at it and say, well, he's a little stiff and sort of, uh, um, st like, stubby with his hind end. He didn't, he didn't, like, jab the ground at the canter or anything, but he wasn't really fluid. Mm -hmm. And he's so long, he wears an 86 blanket, that when you're, you know, you're up here, you don't even know you've got a hind end. You don't even know it's there. It's like, okay, I know you're back here. And getting him to use his hind end and lift with the front has always been difficult for me. You know, and I could fight it and fight it and fight it, and finally I'd just say, well, let's go long and low. That's what you want to do. But he would pound his front feet when I did that. Yeah. So I see so much of this just coming through here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, James. I, 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 from a prognostic standpoint, I see these horses get better. So what does better mean to me for this horse? It means so that we aren't seeing so much of this left front loss. He's right. a little bit better balanced. He's not overusing it. Okay. Right. Okay. Good you job. Can I say you're going to ride him again? I'm so premature to say that. As, as a horse of this age, we want to see his response to treatment. You know, he's happy on in pasture. He loves my to death. And, yeah, and the exercise, I think, is really accentuating these things because here we are. He's had three weeks to move around, and here we are. And, but I don't ever want to take that away from him. I think he needs the movement. Um, I, I don't really care whether I'm not him yet, but it pains me. It kills me to see him moving like But I want to, you know, because it, it, it's just, it, I, you know, he's one-legged sound. You know? well, and it's not, and you know, I owe it to this guy to help him be more comfortable. You know, we're doing our marketing. We talk just as a little sideline. What, what do people want from us? And Is that the uh, expectation? When I think back through 33 years of practice, things that are the hardest things for clients are seeing their horses in pain. It's pain. Absolutely. It's the pain. Yeah. And how do we get rid of the pain? Number one, we have to hopefully have an accurate diagnosis. Mm -hmm. And then we have to have a good treatment. Right. It, starts, it starts in the foot. Your feet are great. We would not have a clear picture of this horse today if we looked at him before the shoes were on. Those True, clogs, we'd be starting clogs, all over. We, we wouldn't, because without that foundation of support, nothing else, because he's always going like this, and nothing else will settle and give you a pattern. Yeah. yeah. Doing that so oh, it's interesting that it's um, not in the knee. We don't think. We doubt twenty percent. 
Not in the foot. Yeah. Which I find, I mean. I'm maybe a little bit on that right front, but we're going to just give him a little time. Yeah, I mean, but we're, we've taken out all the joint medication. We know he's sore up here. I think we, I think you're exactly Rachel. right. Chiropractic, let's get him on some joint stuff. Let's give it two or three weeks. He's due to be shot in uh, two weeks. See where we are, you know, and stay with the pasture, stay with everything else being the same. Does that sound about right? It sounds great. Now, I would like you to consider a wedge shoe on his hind feet. We can do that. And we'll talk to Ed about that. Okay. I think he's, he's, he's always has to access his low behind. And his stifles are both of our stifle points, acupuncture point, right there. Yeah. His flexion is a little suspicious. So we can eliminate that with getting a normal hoof passer and axis on his hind feet. Well, and the reason we took him off was because we were moving him into the pasture and I didn't want him to hurt. Yeah. There wasn't, that was the only reason. Yeah. He's always been happier with shoes with, okay. with trailers, not trailers, with extended heels. Yeah. You know, something to get him so he can stand up, yeah. you know, because when he's trying to get the weight off the front. We'll just get you in the, then, in the photo here. And, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but if he's trying to get the weight off the front and he doesn't have that support behind, 